Hello and welcome to yet another free video course at sapyard.com. If you like our channel, please do not forget to subscribe to it. Today, we present you a very interesting and important topic that is authorization control in core data services. Please do not get confused. This course is not targeted to SAP security team only. Web developers, BIBW modelers who work with CDS, SAP functionals, business and SAP security team are the holistic target for this course. This course will clear the cobwebs of many consultants who treat authorization as the sole proprietary of the security team. In fact, SAP ABAP developers and the CDS modelers should know behind the scene of the access control which will help them design the CDS models better. Let us dive deep into the SAP security related to CDS. In the path, your normal ABAP authorization concept will also get cleared. We will understand the authorization at start and authorization at instance. We will learn the difference between these two new terms. What activates or imbibes the access control in CDS? We will check that secret sauce. It is nothing but a line of annotation. How are CDS access control and CDS entity views linked? We will see that magic. You cannot really learn CDS authorization if you do not know how to create CDS view. So as our first exercise, we will create a simple CDS view. Next. We will create CDS access control. CDS view and CDS access control are two different objects in CDS. Yes, they are saved as two different objects in the SAP transport. The core of this course is authorization object and authorization fields. We will teach you how to create PFCG role, add authorization objects and assign roles to the SAP users. After this exercise, you will know exactly what your SAP security admin does day in and day out. Testing will be fun. One CDS view will give different output to different users depending on the role. Your project director might be able to see all rows of the CDS output while your manager might see some rows belonging to one state when he executes the same CDS while you as a developer might see just the rows of one particular plant. The beauty we can have row level control of CDS output using CDS access control or CDS authorization. Next, we will learn how to create a blanket CDS role for some super users. We will also tell you some good practices in CDS access control and we will also reveal the limitations of CDS access control and how an ignorant developer and modeler can ruin the robust CDS authorization check. You should not miss this exercise and demo. You will see how a developer can bypass the CDS access control if he wrongly uses a CDS SQL view instead of the CDS entity view. We will check this in the exercise. Hopefully, after this course, you will be able to architect your CDS view modeling in an optimized and secure manner. If you have not subscribed to our channel yet, we insist, please subscribe now and encourage us. Let's begin our journey to the security world of SAP CDS.